Hi, my name is Tom Neely. I'm going to do a demonstration on NCASE and doing a smartphone acquisition to gather evidence from a Samsung Galaxy S5. This is a Verizon wireless phone. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is launch NCASE and we really want to make sure that NCASE Forensic Training shows up here in the title bar. If it's NCASE acquisition, that means your NCASE version is not pulling in a license and you're in a very limited uh, version of the software. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, launch NCASE. And I have my Samsung Galaxy phone is already connected to my computer via USB. And that's how we're going to perform the acquisition on the phone. And with this being a newer phone, this is Android version 5.0 we will need to be able to unlock the phone otherwise we will not be able to get an acquisition of the phone so you can see that doing mobile forensics there are a lot of limitations involved if this was uh, an older phone Android version 4.2 and older there is a script out there for NCASE that will unlock the phone for you I've tried it on an older Motorola Droid Bionic with a lot of success but Unfortunately, that's that only applies to older versions of phones. And with everybody getting new phones every couple of years now, uh, it's it's just becoming less and less likely that somebody is going to be using that older phone. So keeping up with the the phone manufacturers' uh, software and the carriers, it's becoming uh, an ever increasing challenge for especially for these mobile forensic companies. So. Okay, to get started here, we're, we're using NCASE, and we're going to open a new case. And I'm just going to call it um, Samsung Galaxy S5 Video. Okay, and we can keep all these settings the same. I know where it's going to be saving it. Uh, there's no really no need to back it up. Okay, and we're going to disable the backup, which is fine. So the first thing we want to do is add some evidence. And right here we have a nice little acquire smartphone. Since I'm focused on the smartphone, I'm not going to really get into uh, adding other types of images or files. So we're going to go ahead and acquire the smartphone. So you can see right here it has detected a Google Android device. And this kind of gives you an idea of everything else that it is capable of doing the phone acquisitions on. So we have Apple iOS. If we click here, you can see that you need to have Apple iTunes installed. Here's BlackBerry, Google Android. Um, you can see that you need to go into the menu, settings, applications, and allow unknown sources. And you also have to go into the development settings and go to USB debugging. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let me go full screen again. So basically on the Android device here, we're going to go into the settings and you got you have to go to about phone. And I'll show you real quick. If you go into the about phone, see if we can hopefully see it here. There is a build number. Uh, it's very hard to see. I'm sorry. But there's a build number uh, of the phone. And mine is it's basically just a mash of letters and numbers so what we do to enable development mode we need to tap on that build number seven times so once you hit about five times it's gonna say one or two more taps will turn this phone into a developer phone and you want to continue to do that afterwards you will then see a developer options underneath the settings and we want to go in here we want to turn USB debugging on and then you also want to go into the applications and you want to allow applications to run from unknown sources now this is not safe so only keep this on if you are performing an acquisition it's a very temporary thing so it's not something you want to leave on all the time this is a security setting so that only approved apps from uh, for example the Google Play Store will be able to run so once we have this set up we can switch back over to NCASE here 
and you can see that it has detected my Google Android device. So let's save a path. So I'll just make it the root of the C drive and we'll just call it Galaxy S5 video. And it wants it's going to save it as an LX01 file. Okay, now there's two types of acquisitions that NCase can do with mobile phones, which is a little bit different than how it handles acquisitions of computers. The first is a logical acquisition, and this is what you're forced to do if you do not have root access on your phone. If you do have root access on your phone, you can perform a physical acquisition. However, getting root access on your phone is challenging. There are ways to do it, and it tends to be the older the device, the easier it is to get root access on the phone. My device is almost a couple of years old now. It's a Samsung Galaxy S5. This is uh, December of 2015, so it might be a couple of years old. I, I don't remember. But anyways, because of the version that of Android that Verizon has released, there is no way to root it right now that I know of. So unfortunately, I'm not able to do a physical acquisition on this phone. So once again, you can see how these mobile forensics tools are pretty limited in what they can do and this is even uh, a very high dollar program uh, with NCase so I'm stuck with a logical acquisition but that's okay uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway so and you can see up here if we wanted to do a physical acquisition we would check this box and you can do the parse phone artifacts after acquisition and if I were to go ahead and run this after a minute, it's going to say your phone does not have root access and it's going to fail. So we're not going to do a physical acquisition. And since I want to acquire all of these things, I will just leave all of these checked. Otherwise, I could check this and I could uncheck if I did not want to acquire the MMS messages and so forth. So once we get started here, we're going to go ahead and start this. Now the first thing that's going to happen is this is should show up on my phone in a second here. Okay, so let me go full screen again real quick. Okay, so what this is prompting for is this wants to do a full backup of my phone. Now I kind of tinkered with this, and what this is doing is this is asking end case. To, to allow NCase to do a full backup. I don't want to do a full backup, I just want to do an acquisition. I've had absolutely no luck doing the full backups with NCase. It seems like every time I try, something happens, it gets hung up on some file, and it ends up, I usually just have to force uh, reboot the phone. So what we're going to do is there's two buttons here. There's a do not backup, and there's a backup my data. So we're going to not backup. So after a second, we'll see that this is going to go into smartphone acquisition mode. And I know it's hard to see, but you can see right now it is gathering all of the SMS messages. And you see the little NK's logo with the smartphone acquisition. And you can sit there and watch it go. And eventually, it's going to gather all of that data from my phone. And then we'll be able to parse through it all. So. I don't want to wait. I've already done this, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it's going to look like. So let me launch another instance of N case here. While wow, this is acquiring. And once again, we'll double check to make sure that